services. Now, Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland. Well, good evening, everybody. After weeks of waiting, the Jets have finally landed Aaron Rodgers, which makes the Jets one of the most complete teams now in the National Football League. Right? They're just missing the QB. Well, the Jets will receive Rodgers, the Packers, 2023 15th pick and 2023 fifth round pick for Aaron. In return, the Packers will get the Jets 2023 13th overall pick, a second round, a sixth Sixth round in 2023, and then a conditional 2024 second round pick that will become a first round pick if Rodgers plays 65% of the Jet snaps next season. It is done, though, thankfully. The Rangers won the first two games opening round in New Jersey, best of seven series. Dominating fashion, right? The Blue Shirts are up 2 0 in a best of seven series, the next two at Madison Square Garden. It doesn't get any better. Then they drop game three Saturday night, 5 4 in overtime. Game four, back at the Garden tonight. Still in really good shape with home ice advantage. But there's just no sense of urgency from the Blue Shirts. That belonged to the Devils. Jack Hughes gets a breakaway here. 2.50 of the first period and buries it. And it's 1-0 New Jersey. Stays that way into the third period when Vincent Trocek gets one past Patrick Schmidt here who stopped 22 of 23 shots and it's a 1-1 game. Now the energy back in the building. New Jersey though, they had the energy all night long and that's the game winner. That's Jonas Sigenthal. 11-38. Sigenthaler, 11-38 to put the Devils ahead 2-1 and that would do it. 3-1, they get an empty uh, netter. We're all tied at 2-2. Game 5, Thursday night, back in New Jersey. On to the bigs in Major League Baseball. Yankees get beat 6 to one in Minnesota. Yeah, there we go. Rachel, Johnny Brito gets the loss. Former Yankee Joey Gallo with a home run. And former Yankee pitcher Sonny Gray goes to 3-0 and on the season with the win. Red Sox lost 5-4 in Baltimore. Chris Sale started for Boston, gave up five runs in five innings. His ERA, 8.22. How about Kevin Smith and the Oakland A's in Los Angeles against the Angels. Top second, two on for the Columbia grad. And he drives a Jose Suarez pitch. Deep to left and gone. A three-run homer for KJ, and maybe that's the beginning of a hot streak for Smitty. But when the Saratoga football team starts a new season in September, their head coach will not be Terry Jones. After 16 years and 32 years coaching football, Jones told me today he is retiring as the head coach at Saratoga. Jones, who turns 54 in July, has taken his teams to four Super Bowl appearances, winning two of them in 2019 and in 2015, the 2015 their team lost in the state championship game. Jones is highly regarded in the Section 2 coaching circles, both on and off the field. He will be missed. Congrats to Coach Jones. Well, let's get to our high school game of the night, at least on paper, game of the night. Girls lacrosse in the Suburban Council and the Shaker Blue Bison, 3-1, and one, hosting Boston Spa earlier tonight. First half, it's all Shaker. They, they get out to a hot start thanks to a lot of draw control wins. And then Libby Giolanella with a great look to Natalie Bennett to make it 4 0 Blue Bison. Kara Kalikia has a huge day for the home team. Five goals against the Scotties. Credit her teammates for finding the open player there. And that was Kalikia, and she's got the finish. Midway through the half, it is Casey Pilla has a free position opportunity. And that's a smart pass to a wide open Caroline Austin. And the sophomore scores to make it a seven goal game. Shaker cruises to a 20 to 3 win over Boston Spa. Former Boston Spa star Anna Gold continues to shine for the Duke softball team. Wow. This past weekend, Gold broke the program's single season home run record with her 18th home run of the year, which also puts her second nationally. Only a sophomore, Gold, Anna Gold, hits cleanup for the Blue Devils, who have won 12 straight games and are 40 and 8 on the season. Wow. The most in a single Only a sophomore. She has got some power. And her, her brother is a really good player. Uh, at Boston College, Division One baseball. So Reed was saying, so she'll just beat her record next year. And the year after, after that, after that. I have no doubt that's that. going to happen. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's really interesting. Good and for her. Give us something even more local to. to uh, yeah. Report. To talk about, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Roger. Awesome. Last check of our weather here, we have the uh, rain. Good for all those tulips.
<laughs> yes, rain's still good for all the tools for us here. Uh, tonight we're drying out. We're partly cloudy and chilly overnight. Lows down into the 30s. Tomorrow.